If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Eminem is releasing his new greatest hits collection, Curtain Call 2, in a couple of weeks on August 5th. And today, I wanted to give my thoughts and predict what the track list might be for this thing, because that's obviously very interesting, which tracks get selected for this EP or like this LP, this this collection so let's look at this let's see what i think about this and swim straight into this so when you head over to the official eminem website where they explain what all will be included in this collection they say that curtain call 2 will include music from all eminem projects from relapse forward including side projects guest appearances film soundtrack songs and of course selections from his solo albums so I want to like break it down, go through it album by album and see which tracks might make the cut. Now, just to kind of, you know, gauge like what how long the track list might be. The original Curtain Call had a length of 17 tracks, the deluxe edition of which had 24 tracks. So let's say in, in on average there's going to be 20 tracks in length. Now to kind of get an idea of how many songs from each album will be on here, just very basically, this is not how it's finally going to be, but just to get an idea for it, we're going to divide those 20 tracks by the 6 albums that Eminem has released since. So Relapse and all the albums that come after it. So we're talking about Relapse, Recovery, Marshall Mathers, LP2. We're talking about Revival, then Kamikaze, and Music To Be Murdered By. And of course, a couple of extra singles. So let's see what will be on here and see what tracks from each album make the cut. I want to start by pointing out that the two singles we have confirmed so far are The King and I from the Elvis soundtrack. That is confirmed to be on here and we'll also get that latest single with Snoop Dogg from the D to the LBC. That is the second lead single quote unquote for this thing. And they did say that there was one more unreleased song that we haven't heard before that is going to be on here. That's the only new one that's going to be on here. But let's break down the albums. Let's start with Relapse, the first album that is on this list because it released in 2009, which was the first album ever since Curtain Call dropped in 2005. On here we have a couple of fan favorites and just, you know, general picks. Just generally, it's likely going to be the big songs, the big songs that, you know, were the most successful commercially, but also maybe some fan favorites. And I, I try to find like the perfect balance between that. I want to start out on Relapse with We Made You, which was arguably, I mean, it was a single and, pro, you know, probably the biggest song on that whole album. Um, so I think We Made You will definitely be on here. Cause a lot of controversy with, like, pop culture icons and stuff like that. The video was iconic. So I think We Made You will definitely take a place on here. My second pick for Relapse. You could pick a couple. You could, you could pick Crack a Bottle. But I think the track that will actually make the cut is Beautiful. Beautiful is such a fan favorite. It's very personal to Eminem. And I still remember, like, when I, you know, when I was, like, 13, I was listening to that. Kind of kind of corny. But, like, you get the idea. Like, people really love that track. And it means a lot to a lot of people. And probably Eminem himself. So I think Beautiful will also make the cut. Now, the last track off of Relapse, I think, is going to make it is from the deluxe actually or the refill uh, which is forever and i talked about this in the other video but i do think forever will definitely make the cut it's i mean it's eminem's song but it's really like a drake song uh, so i'm guessing like this will also count as like a, a guest feature or something like that but i think forever is also such a great eminem moment just him coming in there and killing that that forever is definitely gonna make the cut i think Let's move on to the second album that we're going to talk about, which is Recovery. Also, very, very important album for Eminem just in his life as well, you know, getting sober. Um, and I think, obviously, the first one, we, we got to talk about this, the most successful one, Not Afraid. Um, not Afraid is likely going to make this. And I, I do like Not Afraid because it's not just this, like, very commercial song. It's also still... You know, it has some, there's some meaning behind this. It's very empowering also coming from Eminem in this phase of his life, sobering up. So Not Afraid is going to make the cut. And the second track that maybe will make it, I'm not sure if it's going to make it if Not Afraid's already on here. Because I don't think that they're just going to put the biggest songs on there. But also maybe some more like subtle songs that fans will recognize. But Love the Way You Lie will for sure make this. You know, because it's, it, I think that even was the biggest song. Uh, and it's a song that everybody recognizes. And the last track, now this is somewhat of a you know very subjective individual pick because on recovery those were the big two songs not afraid and love the way you lie and the third track could really be a pick i chose no love now i chose no love because i think a lot of people will recognize that 
and just because you know to having Wayne on like a feature on there is great but I, I can definitely also see Spacebound getting on here or also Cinderella Man those are my other two picks if, if No Love doesn't make it but I'm going for No Love that is my prediction let's move forward 2013 Marshall Mathers LP2 you know, this album was also pretty, pretty big because um, it was the you know second installment in the Marshall Mathers LP series. And the first one was legendary. And of course, we got to start with obviously the, the big pick. And this is going to be on here, no doubt. Rap God, you know, everybody recognizes that it's definitely going to be on the greatest hits ever since 2005. No doubt. Um, I do want to move into the second pick, though, with a more subtle one that maybe not like the mainstream music fan might know, and that is Legacy. Now, of course, if you're an Eminem fan, Legacy, a very, very personal track, talking about his upbringing, talking about being bullied, um, and maybe not the most mainstream sounding song, but to me, that's my favorite track off of the, you know, Marshall Mathers LP2, and I do think that that is going to make it, because it did break through on like a, you know, it's not like a song that nobody knows, like if you see the title and you're not a big Eminem fan you're like what was that one you kind of recognize it but it's also not like completely big in the mainstream so that's why I would choose that one and last of all just because it was the second big hit after Rap God I would also say the monster is going to be on here even though if you already have a Rihanna feature on Love the Way You Lie I'm not sure if they're still going to put the monster on here but other than that I don't really see a lot of picks that we could get from the Marshall Mathers LP2 maybe headlights you know stuff like that uh, but I do think that that is going to be the one Let's move forward. Four years into the future, Revival, which was uh, really not a, a good album, uh, but a lot of fans don't like it. But it did have a lot of big songs. And there's one, one, one big song that I would say, the biggest song on the record. And when I looked it up, I did not know that this was this big. I knew it was big, but it's way bigger than I thought. But that is River with Ed Sheeran. I don't like the track. Never liked it. Um, just seems like such a weird combination and just such like a pop rap song. And I don't like it, but it's likely going to be on there. It has over 700 million streams on Spotify. Did y'all know that? I knew this was big. I would have guessed like 200 million, but it's the biggest song on the record. 700 million. Didn't realize that. Second of all, I would say Believe is going to be on there just because Eminem hopping on like a trap, uh, you know, beat will definitely be something that stands out in the greater context. And I think that song was definitely fire. And if more people can get turned on to this with this new curtain call too, then that will definitely make sense. And the last one is A Rose. Now, A Rose because it's for, I mean, th that song like Castle and A Rose are the two songs that you should buy the album for. The rest is whack, but those two songs, again, so personal. Him reciting the letters he wrote uh, over the past 20 years, it is very, very uh, touching. And when you listen to that, also the, those two tracks, Castle and Arose, in succession, that is when you really get the full effect. But I believe that is going to be on there. Let's move forward to Kamikaze. Not that far in the past. Um, Lucky You was going to be on there. It was it was the biggest track. You know, everybody recognizes that. Uh, then I also think, because no other track really blew up like that, but The Ringer is likely going to be on here because a lot of people recognize that as like Eminem just rapping, like spitting, just him proving that he can rap. Uh, so I think that that is definitely also going to make the cut on this one. And the third track that is, you know, going to make it uh, to my, I didn't want to put this on here, but it's likely going to make the cut is Venom because also movie soundtrack. And they did say that they would have movie soundtracks included. So likely, you know, that is going to make the cut as well, which I really don't like, you know, Venom, but it's like, whatever. Let's move forward to music to be murdered by uh, only what now, two and a half years in the past. Um, Godzilla is going to be on there, no doubt, because the biggest song on there, uh, you, you know, I don't like putting these big songs on there, but they're good. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. I hope they find the right balance. The second track that I believe is actually, or the two other tracks are from the B side, um, because on the original original i don't think that they i'm not sure if they have like a track on there that they would choose but i believe higher i think higher is a fan favorite ever since the b-side dropped it's not like commercially hugely successful but i think fans love it i love it uh, so higher is dope and nat because nat also got the lyrical lemonade music video i think a lot of people on youtube got turned on to that so i believe that nat will also make it so that's the the six albums that he's released ever since 2005. Of course, they said that it's also going to be singles. For example, I think definitely Killshot will make it and replace one of the other songs or be an additional song because Killshot was very legendary. You know, the beef with MGK. Um, so Killshot will likely make it. 
Also, I can see some of the stuff from the Bat Meets Evil time and EP getting on here. Obviously, the two biggest songs being Fast Lane and Lighters with Bruno Mars. I can see some of that happening too because he, you know, they did say side projects and stuff like that. Um, so I, I'm guessing that this will be this will be kind of the list. It, it might deviate somewhat from it, but I think this is a pretty clear picture of how they're gonna, you know, view this and uh, kind of gauge what tracks to put on here. Obviously, they also said features. You can kind of go through Eminem features of the past, what now, like 17 years. You, you, a lot of stuff that you can pick from. I'm not sure if that it will make sense to really pick those out. But this is likely going to be it, Eminem Curtain Call 2. Obviously, only my perspective. You know, if you if you completely disagree with me, please let me know because that will make an interesting conversation. Please let me know if you have any more theories or opinions on this. I would really love to know about them. So all your thoughts on this, please let me know. In the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases make sure to subscribe turn on notifications hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly join my discord in the description until the next one 11 incredible day and y'all take care